Aaron, nobody else is doing this. They created these lasers to study larvations. They're very strange creatures, as you're about to see, but researchers say it's important work. And Bari scientists have built a first of its kind laser device to study deep sea creatures. We only have one that we know of in the world, and it's right here in Monterey Bay. Kakani Katija helped design the tool to study larvations. They're gelatinous creatures, and it takes lasers to really see what's going on inside. It illuminates just a plane or a sheet of light within the animal's house, so you can see what the animal is doing while it's inside that mucus snot structure. Scientists wanted to see these animals in their natural habitat, about 450 meters beneath the ocean surface. So the lasers had to go remote. We're standing on board the Rachel Carson. It's one of two large research ships that Embari operates. On deck here is an ROV, a remotely operated vehicle. This is what they take out on the ocean and use it to study creatures on the ocean floor. Understanding larvations is important because the critters ditch their mucus houses, and that can affect how carbon travels to the ocean floor, impacting climate change and ocean acidification. This interplay between these organisms and their environment is really important, and so studying them only then elucidates what their role is. So that gelatinous house that the creatures create, it is acting as a filter for food and other things in the ocean. And so researchers say one of the reasons they want to study these animals in case they ever want to reverse engineer those filters. Erin? So cool. They're always doing the coolest stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. And Bari is fortunate to have three remotely operated vehicles in use in the Monterey Bay, including, including two MIDI units, one of which is used for this project.